Yeah, you needed that. Hey, it's Dr. AJ. Welcome uh, this morning. I'm glad you're with us. I have one of my favorite people here with me today, Alexis Alvarez. Um, Alexis, uh, for those of you who don't know her, uh, she's a, an aspiring model. She's an influencer. She's a great connector and she's a businesswoman. Uh, Alexis, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Um, nice to meet you guys. I'm currently a UT student in my junior year in marketing and my goal one day is just to own my own business and just do marketing. I love marketing. I think right now social media marketing is one of the biggest things, especially with COVID and the pandemic. People aren't really leaving their houses and I think the best way to connect with people is just online and so that's something I'm trying to learn more about right now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, and we'll definitely get into that for sure. Um, you know, what I'm interested first and foremost is, is I've seen, I'm going to just start here, is I've seen a great transformation. You, I know you're a hard worker to begin with, but you've really been hitting in the gym. Tell me what's been going on in the gym with you, girl. Okay, so a couple months ago, I decided that this was going to be my year, and I actually <laughs> meant it. So I um, started going to the gym and weight training and just tracking my food and everything, and I've been seeing like a huge difference, and I got a trainer, so... I've just been educating myself more on fitness and trying to get my friends into it too because it's easier to do it with other people rather than just trying to keep yourself motivated by yourself. So that's been the biggest thing. And that's great. That's one of the things I love best about you is the fact that you always, you know, you, you get success, but you don't keep it yourself. You always try to bring other people along. I think that's a great, uh, you know, it's a great trait to have. Yeah. Um, you're also pretty involved over at your church as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, every Tuesday. I go to Grace Family Church on Waters and I serve there and recently I took on a new position where I am in charge of everybody who serves so I, my job is basically to just make sure everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing and just in the right positions and connecting people and all that so yeah. That's good. You know, I think that's a, it's a gift and a skill. You know, you learn, you learn both. I mean, I think some of it's kind of ingrained, right? You know, yeah. you naturally like to reach out to people. So I think it also makes you a little bit more magnetic, right? You're, you, you draw people. Uh, but then you, you also have to kind of hone that in. And I think that's what you do in your business. It's called Your Mark Promotional Products. Um, tell me a little bit about, you know, what your business entails. You and your mom, right, are in together. Yeah, so, so my mom's been doing it in Tampa for over 15 years now. Basically, we can brand anything a company puts their logo on, so scrubs, pens, anything. Um, so my mom has gotten most of her clients word to mouth, but recently Google's been a big thing. We've gotten a lot of new clients from Google just calling us, and we honestly haven't put much work into the Google like end of it. We just have our business on there, but I kind of want to start focusing um, like in the next couple months, just building up the Google profile and putting in all the hashtags on the back end so people find us more because that's huge. That's how everyone finds people nowadays and we have great ratings. So that's just what we're trying to do right now and just me trying to build up my clientele. But yeah, so that's what we do. Well, that's good. Now, as far as, you know, marketing now and, you know, this post-COVID, you know, mm -hmm. pandemic world, are you seeing any changes or any new trends? I think the digital marketing trend is the biggest up and coming one. I, I mean, I know UT, my school, didn't offer any courses in it, but this summer they're starting the first course ever for digital marketing, and it, they're claiming it's going to fill up pretty fast because that's what everyone wants to learn how to do right now. So I think that that in itself, just colleges now adding those type of courses in just shows how prevalent it is in our society and how important it is to, to know that those skills. How do you think a, a business, you know, a local business, you know, can, you know, can kind of, you know, take – promotional products and, and that digital marketing, maybe put them, them together to make a, a really good marketing plan. What do, you, what do you recommend? So I think that a lot of businesses, like for example, on social media, like giveaways are a huge thing and like branded items, like things that people won't give away, like, you know, a nice tumbler, a wireless charger, something like that. Things that people won't give away and they're like, oh, we're come to this, this day, this place, we're having this event, we're going to be giving these out. I mean, it's a way to get people's attention and just keep your name in front of people's face. Like that's what's the most important thing. You don't want to give them something that they're going to throw away, you know. Mm. So I think something like that um, is a good thing to think about. That's a great idea. And then as far as like, you know, mistakes that you see in the industry, the mistakes you see that, you know, companies have, is there anything you would say stay away from? Yeah, um, I think on the social media side of it, I'm pretty like, um, I don't know the word, like passionate about social media. So I think something that's important to me is just seeing like consistency and like cleanliness on people's platforms, like their pages, because some people, 
you know, if their content isn't like high quality, you know, if there's just a bunch of different themes going on on their page, I think that draws people away. I think like our generation specifically, like it's all about how something looks. So if something doesn't look put together, it doesn't look like nice, then you're not going to want to, you know, do business with them. So I think right now just the look of your business is the most important and that the look is everything. It's your social media. It's, you know, how you're just everything set up. So I think that's that's the mistakes I see. It's just people not putting the work into that. So it sounds to me like you're really saying it's really about branding, right? Mm-hmm. How you brand yeah. yourself, how your your everything, your consistency, not just in mm-hmm. consistently putting out the message, but in how you put out the message and, and, and the way kind you get it out. what you're doing with your Instagram. You know, you're constantly marketing your business every day. Like, that's so important. That's the way to do it. Good. Well, I'm blessed to be able to work with people like you. So, you know, obviously, you know, you're running around a lot. You're working out now. So that's increased, you know, activity, yeah. um, probably increased energy, I would guess, right? Yeah. You're probably more, even yeah, more effective more. at what you do. Yeah. And then increased travel now that you know that you're probably not working from home anymore now you're back out in the marketplace any specific spots where you're feeling any kind of soreness or pain or we think you know we might be able to help you maybe get a little few more reps in at the gym Mm -hmm. i'm thinking like this right here is really tight i try rolling out at the gym but sometimes it's just so painful to do that like i just can't get myself to i guess fully do it and then i guess like my my center of my back and I think that's about it. I think okay. That's as far as that hurt. All right. So some, you know, some mid lower back, mm-hmm. some of the legs, some of the quads. So I imagine leg day is your favorite day then, right? Yeah, we love leg day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Alexis, go ahead and, and lay uh, on your back for me. Okay. I'm actually going to start working first uh, with our our Theragun, our massage gun, which is made by Lots Fit. I like this one because it's really, really light and really compact. I, if I can take it with me if I'm on the road, and I travel back and forth you know, from three offices throughout the course of the week, so this is something that goes with me wherever I go. So I think you'll like this. So I'm just gonna kind of work on your hip flexors a little bit. Staying loose and, and staying flexible I think is just as important, so make sure you're incorporating that with your increase in strength. All right, let's go ahead and get you adjusted here in your lower back. Lay with this side up for me, if you would. Go ahead, you can scream. (laughs) Yes, we're going to go right over the other side. That always makes me say, you know, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, I know you're involved in your church, so laughter is the best medicine. So that should be... That should be on the wall here somewhere. Okay, lay on your back for me if you would. Oh, man. All right, you said the kind of the middle back, so we're going to go that area next here. Cross like that. Come up to me like you're doing a sit-up. Let's go all the way back and breath out. <sighs> Lift your hands up for me. You adjust super easy, which is good. Turn your head to the right for me, and then over to the left, back to the center. Yeah, I thought I saw something going on the shoulder, so look, bend your elbows. So you see how that right arm comes a little bit lower, so that means you do have some tension here and you're yeah, stressing your neck. Yeah, that is something I forgot to mention. I feel like sometimes one of my shoulders, like, I feel like one of them is higher than the other or something. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I'm doing arm stuff, like, I feel like one of them is, like, longer or something. I don't know. Yep, and that's probably tension in your trap muscles because yeah. your trap muscle, a lot of times, you have you feeling like you're, you're lifting your shoulders up. So, you know, one of the things we can do is really work on stretching our traps. So when we get done today, I'll show you a stretch you can do for your traps that I think will help with that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, you needed that. Yeah. Lift your hands again for me. <laughs> that was the biggest crack ever. Wow. There we go. Good. All right, lift your hands one more time. Let's take a look at the balance of that. And you'll see much better here. So let's do that. Let's go over a stretch. I, it's called an anchor stretch. So it's a stretch you can use really to get a little bit added uh, stretch on your trapezius muscle, which you have on either side of your neck. Uh, you know, from using uh, you know our tablets and our handheld devices to being on our, our PCs, 
A lot of times we do create tension in our neck based on our shoulder position. So what we want to do is we want to work on the elongating these muscles here. So go ahead and stand with your back actually that way. Turn this way so we can get a good look here. You're going to take this hand, you're going to grab it with this hand, all right? And now what you're going to do is you're going to pull it out. So you're, this is what's called an anchor stretch. So this side is anchored. I like to call this the chicken wing side. And you're going to bend your head toward that wing and you should feel that pretty isolated right in there. So the more you kind of force that elbow down a little bit, this elbow down and pull over, the more accentuated that stretch is going to be. Okay. You can change where that hits by how you turn your head. So if you kind of look to the side a little bit, you'll feel that a little bit differently. If you look up and away this way, you'll feel that more in the front of your neck. So great stretch. Let's turn around this way so we can see it from this side. So same thing, let's do the opposite side. So you're going to anchor. That's it. Stretch away. Good, so again, we're pulling through here. Look up, when you look up, you're gonna get these muscles here in the front of your neck. That's a great stretch. Feel a little bit better? Yeah. A little bit more balanced? Yes. All right, good, go tear it up at the gym. Thank you.